Hi, this is Delilah with Art by Delilah and I have a passion for painting. Today I'm going to be painting a strawberry and uh, for most of the painting I'm going to use a palette knife. I will be using a brush some of the time. Um, it's strawberry season here in Florida so it's a good time to try to paint a strawberry. We've got lots of them out here and so um, I hope you enjoy this little video. I'm going to start by toning the canvas as I always do. Um, I'm going to use a brush to do that. I just want some background back here to kind of get it going. That way if I miss some spots with the palette knife, it doesn't show up. Just putting a little bit of gray color back here. Wiping it off a little. Oops, got a little blue in there somewhere. I'm just I want the background here to be pretty smooth so it will stay in the background and not come forward and compete with the strawberry. The strawberry I'm going to put a lot of texture in as I work it. After I get this color laid in, I'll come back later and um, smooth it down. I think it was Rembrandt that said you need to start all your paintings with a dark background because it's only from the light that you get your images. I usually don't do a dark background to start with, but I I do try to watch my light. One thing I don't like about a lot of the new palette brushes, um, they're palette brushes, uh, palette knives, they're so thin that you're liable to get these little burrs on them and they're very sharp. So I sometimes take sandpaper and, and sand off the edge and that's what I'm going to stop and do right now because this has got a little bend to it and it's catching my paint. I'm 
going to take and uh, remove some of the background paint that I put right here. I don't like the angle I've got. I need to change this and add some dark right in there. So I'm just taking a Q-tip, removing some of that thick paint. Going back in, my dark color. Now I'm going to go in and start working the, the little seeds around and um, I'm going to take some of my background color to make kind of some little indentations. Now with a very small palette knife, it has a very sharp end, I'm going to go in and um, take some um, yellow ochre and uh, place some seeds inside those little dark crevices. Down near the tip, I'm going to put some tiny green ones. Get that sometimes. Now up here with the lights hitting, I'm going to go and just touch with the side of my knife. For some highlights around those berries, seeds. Put the shadow under the berry. The 
take a brush to clean up that edge. Just because it has too much paint on it, I want to smooth it out. Just because you're doing something with a palette knife doesn't mean that you can't use a brush. In fact, to have a little bit of variation between the brush and the palette knife makes for a much more interesting painting. I'm almost done now. I'm just going to add a few highlights um, on the leaves of the strawberry. Maybe kind of one right in here on the berry. Hope you've enjoyed this painting session. This is Delilah with Art by Delilah and I have a passion for painting. <laughs>